Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner beauty. I try it all out for you so you know what to buy and more importantly, what not to buy. Today, I am doing an update review for the Cure Weiss Foundation. I tried this before. I wasn't such a fan in the past, but I wanted to give it another shot. If you wanna hear more about this and see whether or not my mind changed, then stick around and let's get into it. FYI, this was gifted to me. Regardless of that, you are still getting my honest opinion. Per the huge, here's what it's about in a nutshell. It is a cream foundation and it is $68 or you can just get the refill inside of this handy dandy little beautiful actual um, packaging. And that's only $40. There are 14 shades available and there's a lot of organic ingredients in here. It is cruelty free and gluten free. Okay, so what are the claims that I'm gonna be testing this foundation against? First of all, it says that it's easily blendable. It's supposed to diminish blemishes, reduce redness, overall even out skin tone. So that to me, falls under the even out skin tone umbrella. Full coverage is what it claims to provide and also it gives a velvety semi-matte finish. Did it do those things? I'm gonna tell ya. Let's run through the scorecard. Here we go. Ingredients. Well, they looked good except for talc. Now, is talc the devil? No, not in my opinion. However, a couple of years ago when I reviewed this, I was pretty upset about there being talc included. This time around, I went to Integrity Botanicals who gifted this to me and I asked about the talc inclusion in this product, why it was in there. And I know that they have such strict standards for the products on their site. So I was kind of curious. She sent me a whole blog post, which was really helpful. It is a Q and A with the founder of Cure Weiss. It talks about the certifications that went into the talc use in this product. Granted, we have to rely on these certifications, which are supposed to be very stringent. The brand also said there's such a small percentage of it in there as well. It's also not in powder form, it's in pressed form. All those things combined. I thought it was an interesting perspective on talc. I liked having a full picture view of it and it did make more sense to me. I just wish like if you just had such a small percentage of it, could you not just leave it out because of all these concerns with cross-contamination? I don't know. Not a chemist, not the retailer. Don't understand the margin implications there. Overall here for ingredients, with this extra explanation about talc, I'm not as concerned about it being in here. I just kind of wish it wasn't. It's not an instant no because of its inclusion this time around. Coverage, okay. That on the other hand, it was, I went back several times because I was like, I want to make sure that I've got this right, that I've tried it right. Is it just my skin? Was I just having a bad skin day? No, I wasn't. I mean, granted, it's just my experience and this might work for you, but the coverage here. The brand recommends applying it to well-moisturized skin. I do too. I tried a cream moisturizer, a very light cream moisturizer, and then I also tried it with an oil. I tried it without anything and that didn't work so well for me. The cream moisturizer really didn't work. When I applied it on top of that, it got very patchy and it just sort of moved, you know? As soon as I would try and blend it in, as soon as I would swipe, it would just sort of displace itself. Now, the oil, I was able to press it in with my fingers a little bit, but it still ended up gathering on the surface. It just, you'll see it under the ring light and then you can also see it in the natural light with the cream moisturizer. It just was like gathering and it attaching to dry skin spots. I really thought my skin was just desperately dry. So I gave this another week of just like moisturizing and making sure it wasn't my skin. It still performed this way for me. When I applied it with the oil, you can see the after with the oil used as the base foundation. Even then, the coverage by the way was dissipated. It didn't look super full. It just didn't look great. It looked better, but when you get close up to it, it just was creating a texture on my skin where there was no texture. That was the biggest issue that I had here. It wasn't the talc, it wasn't even the price. It was the coverage, not so great. Gave it a two out of five on the scorecard. Granted, this is not a one size fits all situation. I do like to add alternative insight here. So if you've tried this, I'm guessing oilier skin types might really benefit from this kind of a cream foundation. Let me know. I think that information would be super helpful to have. Does it last? 3 out of 5 on the scorecard because while it lasted through the 8 hour wear test, it still just looked patchy. I really didn't want to leave it on. I didn't necessarily feel very confident with the way my skin looked. It just wasn't a fit for my skin. Non-irritating formula. Didn't have any problems there personally. If you do have irritation or sensitivities to coconut oil, you may wanna look the other way. It got a four out of five on the scorecard. Blending and building. Does it blend well, does it build well? Well, you can probably already guess the answer. Blending, I just, I had a really hard time with it. It took a lot of kind of fussing over. Just had to play a lot with it to get it to look 
natural-ish. So knowing that I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to makeup application, I'll know that I would probably dock a few points there because I just need it to be easier. And I have used products in the past that have just kind of gone on and settled in nicely, regardless of what I had underneath. Wow. Building was also a little bit tricky here too. With the oil application in particular, when I applied it and I was like, okay, this is working a little bit better. As soon as I built on top of it and really started applying more, it really started to get that patchy look again. So not performing so well there for me. Out of two out of five on the scorecard. So is the shade range inclusive? 14 shades I think is a great number of shades. They skewed a little bit more towards the lighter to like medium. I wish there were more darker shades on this spectrum. I gave it a three out of five on the scorecard. And then finally, is it a consciously created product? I think they do a great job with this part of it. This, this was like a happy note, okay? They have beautiful packaging. It's heavy duty and totally durable. It's a little heavy to be honest with you. Like it's a little bit cumbersome for travel. Granted, I'm not traveling right now with the rest of the country, but I digress. I do love that they have refills available and the packaging for the refills is so minimal. Also cruelty-free, they focus on organic ingredients. It got a four out of five on the scorecard. Total score, 18 out of 30. Uh, uh, I know, it's not, it's, Let's go through the claims. By the way, I should also mention, I looked through all the apps, EWG, Think Dirty. I found it on EWG, but there was no mention of talc in there, which I thought was a little odd. It rated as a two on the app, but I was like, hmm, maybe they need to update that. So the claims, first claim, easily blendable. Mm -mm. Not for me. It wasn't really easy. I do recommend using an oil. Pressing with the fingers seemed to do it the best, but my skin just didn't take to it. Ugh. I wish it did, I wish it did. And what was weird too is that even when I put it on with the oil, at first I thought, oh, this is it. This is gonna be great. It looked really natural. And then I let it sit for a minute and it started to separate. So I just, I couldn't figure it out. Next, diminishes blemishes, reduces redness, and evens out the skin tone. I mean, you can probably already tell. I think that if you have oily skin and this applies like a dream for you, again, this is in my head, I guess. If that happens, then I think that it will even out and provide a little bit better coverage. For me, it just wasn't even. So reducing the redness, yeah. Evening skin tone out, kind of, but just the overall texture wasn't there. So the next one was, they say that it provides full coverage. For me, it just provided some coverage and it just was just not great looking. Velvety semi-matte finish. I did see more of a matte finish here, which also makes me think that this might work better for an oily skin type. Reminds me a little bit of my personal experience with the Kosas oil and um, the vapor foundation that all of these foundations that have the term velvet in them or combination skin types or god forbid dry skin types if you find the perfect moisturizer some of these might work like maybe it's a moisturizer without silicone you know there is a combination out there that can work it's just like who has the time or the budget to find it sometimes i thought it was really gonna work but it just didn't. My final verdict, well, it hasn't changed. Now granted, I'm not mad at this for the talc necessarily this time. I still really kind of wish it wasn't in there. I, that is just me going, eh, is it worth it at this point? Do I trust their certifications? Now I have to research another thing. That's just me being me. Okay. It's because it just didn't mesh well and was not a fit for my skin type. All skin types are not created equal. What doesn't work for me might be a great option for you. So that's why I go through these scorecard steps, not to just say, oh, I really didn't like this. It's not that. It's not about that. That's not what these reviews are about. They are to give you the perspective from somebody who may have your skin type or may not, because if you, again, have oilier skin, this may be exactly the type of product that works really well for you. Um, so. Thank you so much for watching. I... I, I, I. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. Do not forget to subscribe so you never miss another video like this one. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check out some more clean beauty. I will see you guys right back here real soon. Until then, bye bye. So I was feeling very 80s with my earrings today, like very 80s. Very 80s. 80s baby. You guys are probably gonna wanna know, or some of you might wanna know what I'm wearing. So I have a combination. Shocker of the 100% pure matte lipstick in Marrakesh, and I did a nice wash of the Fit Glow lip serum in Gospel. That's it. Lucky you, you stuck around. Now you know. Okay, gotta go. Bye bye.